Alright guys, I have another insane Rare Fan video for you. I got some interesting things for Rare this week. So, let's get into this. We first started at the New Market Shop at the Aurora Gold Station, mile 30. And here we saw two gold trains. The first one was a northbound train going from Charter to Barry. It was led by Cab Car 378 with a really epic horn and the crew actually gave me a wave. And pushing in this MP40 locomotive, 641. And it had 6 passenger cars which is unusual. Nowadays, most gold trains have been using 10 passenger cars. But this one and the next one both had 6 cars for some reason. Not far behind 641, another northbound gold train pulled into a royal gold station. It was at the surface. It went from King City to Trotter to let the northbound go by. Then, it will load up with passengers and then it will head south from Aurora to Trotter. It was led by Cab Car 341 for the northbound trip. But leading the southbound trip is MP40 locomotive 666, aka the Devil Engine. Okay, this is not Halloween yet, LOL. I would like to give one of the crew members on this train a shout out because one of them climbed off a locomotive and came over and asked me if I have a YouTube channel. I told him the channel name and he said he would take a look at it as soon as he has a chance. So because of that, the engineer did the emergency horn salute for me. Thanks again for doing that. Anyway, this train has six passenger cars like the first one.
Now we move from the new market shop to the battle shop. The first CN train in this video was taken on the raining morning. But however, this is an ass needed train. This is CN B730. It is a long potash train going from Yarbar, Saskatchewan to New Brunswick. It was led by 3077 with a really epic K5HL horn. Trailing second is 3814. For the DPU is 8100 and SD70ACE. If you were expecting our GFOS on this train, you are wrong. There's EMD power on this train. 8100 is actually one of the four ACEs that CN owns. Hopefully, I can see another ACE leading one day. Anyways, for the rear DPU, is 3125. B730 has 204 Podash cars.
That afternoon, I saw yet another light coming down the tracks. So I took advantage and filmed this southbound in the motor train, which is CN Z112, going from Vancouver to Brampton. It was led by 2965, with a really epic K5HL horn and the engineer actually gave me a horn salute. And it also has the Every Child Matter sticker. And for the rear DPU is XLVX3980. 112 has 127 well cars. A few days later, Canadian trackside fan and I went to Pine Orchard to do some shirt wear fanning. The first train we got in there is CREX, no I mean CNA450, going from North Bay to Toronto. I should probably call this CREX450 because there was two XCREX GFOs on this train. Leading the train is 3946 with a really epic K5HL horn and the engineer give us a horn salute. And trailing second is 3927. 450 has 96 freight cars. And it was going to have a meet with CNQ107 at Satter, which will be the next train.
The next train we saw is CNQ-107, going from Brampton to Vancouver. It was all EMD power from an SD70M-2 and an SD75I. It was led by 8832 with a really epic K5 LLA horn. And trailing second is 5646. This is actually my second time seeing 5646. The first time was at Sephir Road last year when he was trailing second on CNA 450. 107 has 86 well cars. And it was going to have a meet with CNQ 108 at Pathola and some other trains at Brecken, which they are coming soon. Just then, some CM workers came over to test the crossing. They did the same thing at Kennedy Road as well. Anyways, not long later, along came CNQ-108, going from Vancouver to Montreal. It was led by x x 34 d with a really powerful K5HL horn. Trailing second is 5622, a rare SD-70i. And trailing third is 5711, a regular SD-75i. This is actually my second time seeing 5622, 
For first time was at Concession Road 2 and set for last year when it was leading on its southbound mixed train. One of eight has 161 well cars. Now here's another reason why I went there to wear fan at Pine Orchard during this day. There was gonna be another event. Remember last year how the Ontario Northland Railway ran a special test train down the ballot stop? Well guess what? They did it again. They were actually on a charter run. This is the Ontario Northlanders P300 run. Going from Codron to Port Colburn. They are heading to Port Colburn because they are shooting a TV show. And they needed a train in this show. The show is called The Handmaid's Tale. And they are shooting the sixth season. It was created by Bruce Miller. The power they are using is a GP38-2. 1802 was leading the train. And at the rear of the train is 221. A F30PH. It was generating the power to the cars. 
This is also the first time that ONR went onto the York and Halton stops. The train has three passenger cars and tready axles. Mile 35 restricted, mile 35 and 25.6. Take a listen to this powerful K3L horn. It sounded really epic. You will see the ONR again in next weekend's Ray FM video since it will be heading back up north on July 25th. Not much insane trains went by throughout the rest of the week, except for two heritage units, 3023 and 3008. Unfortunately, I couldn't see them because I was busy during that day. Before we get into this weekend's Ray FM trip, Here's a 20 minute late northbound GO train going from Trotter to Barry. It was led by Cab Car 347 with a really epic horn. And pushing it is MP40 Locomotive 653. And once again, it has six passenger cars for some reason. This is at the Mirlock Drive crossing in Newmarket. Mile 32.75 on the Newmarket sub. Now for this weekend's Ray of End trip, Michael Waters, Elf Angels, Rob Locks, and Murr and I went to The Endangered Elgin Mills Crossing in Richmond Hill, mile 22.16 on the Bala subdivision. The crossing here has all safe train equipment. It also has not one, but two safe train type 3 E belts. Replacing two General Signals Type 2 E-Bells. I must say, these are the worst sounding E-Bells I ever heard. You will find out why in a bit. Thankfully, there's a northbound signal. We use the signal so that way it can tell us if there's a northbound train coming. Richmond Hill is planning on grade separating the crossing by putting in a bridge. So this is why the crossing is endangered. In this picture, you can see two GFOs. One of them being 3077. 
I mentioned they get a camera reading instead of two GFOs. Now that would be really epic. The first train we got in is CNQ-102, Robert Banks, BC, to Brampton. For the 19th time on this channel, I saw yet another single locomotive pulling a train by itself. This time it was X-Series X 3946. It was pulling 78 rail cars by itself. Which means that 102 has 78 rail cars. Now you see why the two E bells are really bad. Now it's time for the second installment of A Perfect Train Me Elgin Mills Edition. Something interesting happened while we were filming CN Q108. Going from Vancouver to Montreal, 108 was led by X Series X3930. And for the rear DPU is 3936. 108 has 122 well cars. But as 108 headed south, CNQ 105 showed up, passing 108 and making this a perfect train meet. Going from Montreal to Vancouver, 
105 has an insane blast shop. It was led by 5794, a SD75i. Trailing second is 2502, a rare C44-9WL. Trailing third is 8807, a SD70M-2. And trailing fourth is 2263, a DC a four locomotive train pulling 183 well cars. This is actually my second time seeing 2502. The first time was at Mayabird over a month ago when it was leading on CNM313.
All right, that's a long one. Now that concludes the second installment of a perfect train meet. Now let's get back to the video. The next and final train we saw is CNQ 101, going from Brampton to Vancouver. It was led by 3172, and trailing second is 8816. 101 has 150 well cars. The bell sounded much more worse when the gates are going up. So we'll know if this is going to be the last train for this time because, because uh, once it turns the corner, it'll hit 19th Avenue and then if there's another one lying through, then it'll change to yellow. Yeah. We did indeed see nothing after this. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this weekend's Ray FM video. Until my next one, I will see you guys later. Peace out, folks. Hey, hey.
say hey. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and the following YouTubers that are with me in this video. The links will be in the description. Well, as usual, I really hope you enjoyed this epic video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And that will be it as usual.